Yeah, so we're showing a, a, a bunch of cool stuff that hasn't been seen in public before. And none of us have been out of our of our uh, Zoom and Teams calls for a while, but uh, the work has continued with the innovation. Um, we're showing Threadripper Pro in the Lenovo ThinkStation P620. We got it cut a bunch of different ways here on the booth. Down here on the end, um, first public showing of the Threadripper Pro 5995WX, which is 64 cores, Zen 3 architecture. And we, we, um, we had our friends from Boris FX here uh, for the past couple of days demonstrating how their plugins, Continuum, Mocha, Sapphire, nice. work in conjunction with Adobe's After Effects multi frame rendering. So all of a sudden now, for uh, motion graphics and After Effects, you get much better usage, uh, much better headroom with, with higher core count systems. Um, if we go on down here, we took a Threadripper Pro, a 64 core Threadripper Pro, we stacked it full of memory, high core count, multiple graphics cards, and we partitioned it. It's actually running a recipe that Lenovo put together for virtualizing your workgroup workstation. You take this workstation and make it drive uh, edit stations. Uh, so it's one. Yeah, cool. So, yeah, so, so here are the, um, the performance monitors for the four workstations that I'm powering here off these laptops. So again, this is Lenovo's recipe. We use Mechdyne TGX as the remote workstation software. So there's a little thin client on here that, that gets the, the experience that's being driven off of, off of this beast back down on here. And this is an interesting example, right? These two, these two VMs are both running on the laptop. These two VMs are running the exact same workload. It's a 6K playback of red footage. It's been transcoded in Avid Media Composer. Um, in DNX, uh, DNX HQ, I believe. Um, so the same exact workload. They're both playing the same workload, but the the one on the bottom has eight cores and 16 threads. The one on the top has 20, uh, 24 cores and 32 threads. So just to show the example of where core count makes a difference in these yeah. high high resolution uh, workflows. Cool. So this is available now. Yeah, this is all available now. The the recipe for virtualization is, uh, is is freely available, and you know this is um, this is kind of what people are doing up on the cloud, right? You can rent workstations in the cloud. You yeah, can yeah. pay for instances on Azure, or AWS, or or others. Um, this gives you the ability to do it yourself with your own hardware. You run your interactive sessions all day, and then at night when people aren't doing any more editing, then you run your bare metal applications that take yeah, advantage of yeah. all 64 cores. So I'll do my renders, my transcodes, my proxies. I started talking with our friends at Lenovo about hybrid cloud models. Right. You know, on-prem, big iron, and then cloud mix is really the what seems to work in reality. Right, right. And I'll, I'll tell you, Tim, I've been, I've been pleasantly surprised to see how many people came by and saw this, and they're already doing it. The, the, there are a lot of small shops they're already doing this kind of thing because they're investing in this powerful hardware. They want to use it around the clock. Cool.